Hello everybody and welcome to Clausen World. In today's episode, I am going to give you a sneak peek of the temporary outdoor greenhouse that I erected because of the winter that we had. Let's go into the greenhouse. Okay everybody, there isn't a lot of room for all of us up in the greenhouse, so I'm going to stand outside and I am going to walk you through the greenhouse now I have I'm gonna step in just a tiny tiny bit I have taken everything that I need to come outside and harden off from the indoor greenhouse and I have placed it outside it is currently 74 degrees and I'm just letting the greenery here get a little bit of air as you can see, some of it is a little bit yellow. I fed it and I think I gave it a little bit too much liquid feed. So yeah, that happened. Here are a few of uh, flowers over on this side. Texas Star Hibiscus, something my mom's best friend gave her. I think this might be a, ooh, what do you call that thing? Um, now I can't remember, we were just talking about it too. A, uh, I think this is an angel trumpet, but don't hold me to it. Um, my mom was like, oh, I don't know what it is. Something something she gave me, I don't know. Texas Star Hibiscus. Uh, I've got herbs. Let's, let me move it just a tiny bit. I have herbs all up here. You name it, I have it up here from uh, Agastache to basil to ashwagandha to everything sage i even have a little bit of this is a citronella balm this is a bunny tail grass that i want to put out just for the sake of having it because it's pretty so yes the indoor greenhouse has now become the outdoor greenhouse and i have a few extra things in here that um have already been in here I can't remember what this is but I'm gonna let it show me and tell me what it is and see what it is exactly so I'm not sure uh, my moringa died off as you can see but I do have some babies coming up I did reseed over here this is my pigeon peas so we'll see how they go I may end up taking those out of there and putting them in a 17 gallon pot to see if they get a little bit more uh, girth on them or I may just leave them in that pot I'm not sure uh, one of them just took a really bad spill one of my sweet potatoes fell on it so I'm hoping that um, it's not going to be too awful and then of course there are some pots down at the bottom that don't have anything in them but we don't worry about that of course my sweet potato slips doing really well I have some lemongrass down there um, rooting and let me back up a little bit and I have a new fig this I do believe is a Chicago hardy fig if I'm not mistaken I don't remember exactly but I think that's a Chicago hardy fig I'm hoping the figs that I overwintered in here that you all don't see because I pulled them out already I hope that they actually come out of dormancy so far they don't look like they're coming out of dormancy i did do the scratch test on the bark and the the bark was uh the cambian layer was green but i really don't know so yes this is a sneak peek on the indoor greenhouse i hope you guys like what you see all of this in here will be going out into the garden once it is sturdy enough to go out into the garden and you'll see those things being planted out in later videos i even have a little bit of rhubarb look at that i'm so excited about that rhubarb y'all just don't know tomatoes i'm excited you guys so until the next video bye for now and if you haven't done so already you know what to do like comment and subscribe because it would help out my new channel and i greatly appreciate all those who watch even if you're not subscribed. All are welcome.
Happy gardening I to you. I almost forgot. I mentioned in a previous video a couple of episodes ago about the self-watering bottles that I've made. I never made them on camera because I had had them for several years, but I wanted to show you guys a quick and easy way of having a self-watering bottle in your planters. You can use whatever size bottle you want, whatever kind of bottle you want. Of course, this was water, coconut water. And what I did was I cut the bottom of the bottle off and inverted it into this bottle. It's a two bottle system. I drilled holes in this cap and holes in this cap and I stuck the bottles together and I just placed them inside of whatever container I'm going to be using them for. That way if I'm out of town and I don't have drip irrigation in a particular pot, I can still have a self-watering bottle and that way my pots don't go thirsty. So there you have it you guys. Now you can see what the bottles look like. I pulled these out because I am setting things up for the spring, getting things all rearranged and I had a few few pots that I had to clean out that had bottles in them. So for right now they're sitting right there. That's all for now. Bye everybody.